Not even a minute since we just finished one stop. Here we go again. James Jones, Grand Prix Police Arteries. Tonight, we're taking you along for the ride. In the ongoing fight against what's commonly called ghost cars, there are likely thousands of them, according to police, on the road right now. Chances are you maybe even passed a few today. Cars with paper license plates kind of look like this. Plates that, for the most part, are not real. There are legit ones out there. This is not one of them. These, though, are people hiding behind the wheels of cars. We've got criminals out there. We've got people who don't have insurance or even register their cars. It should matter to you because it boils down to money right out of your very own pocket and your own safety on our roads. Go over to Sarah Jane, or actually Outlet. I'm about to go traffic with the authorization tag. We've been out less than five minutes and already have a fake paper tag. Somebody's pulled over. This is life on the streets for Grand Prairie PD's Vehicle Crimes Unit. Officers James Jones and Thomas Berrettini investigate hit and run crashes, traffic fatalities, and fraudulent temporary license plates. How long has he had the car for? The driver says the car belongs to his father, but there's no proof of ownership, no registration, no insurance. He does have another paper license plate to show them, but that's a fake too. Um, it looks like the dealership has just been giving him, um, or whoever, owns a vehicle, repetitive license plates instead of registering it. So, so the car's never been registered since when, you said? Since uh, 2018. The driver ends up with four tickets and has to walk away. The car is going to the impound lot until someone can prove ownership. Hadn't been inspected in five years. And so, that happened within five minutes of us being A couple out. minutes. So you can do this all day long. Literally, the tow truck would have to follow us around if this is all we did. If you've got a computer and a printer at home, you can make a, a Texas paper tag. The fake plate problem isn't new to Grand Prairie Police Chief Daniel Sesney, but it's personal for him and the entire department. In November, Officer Brandon Sy died in a crash after pursuing a vehicle with a fraudulent plate. Police say they found out the driver was wanted on warrants in Bedford, DeSoto, Grand Prairie, and Waxahachie. This problem goes far beyond just violent crime, Doug. This, this really touches everybody listening to us today. Every time you hit the road, Sesney says, you're at risk. That's because many of these ghost cars, as they call them, aren't insured, and some aren't even safe to be on the roads. Which means if you get into a wreck with one, your insurance will be the one to take the hit. This issue literally is so uh, enormous that all of us feel it, especially in our back pocket. The Texas Department of Motor Vehicles has been under pressure to fix this problem for years. In November, days after the death of Officer Sy, the DMV released an updated version of the temporary tag with a QR code and some other new security features aimed at cracking down on counterfeits. Some of these tags that we've, we have uh, seized this week, criminals have already figured out the QR code and are taking you to a dummy website to make it look legitimate. So then it begs the question, what has the brand new design done to help the problem? Doesn't sound like much. I would argue little to nothing. This is one of the new model ones. In the few hours we spent on the streets, we never waited more than just a few minutes before spotting a fake plate. As soon as we finished one stop, we'd find another fraud. The plate so on the last the car we pulled over no has good. the it's DMV's no new design. So this is one of those new style plates. This one's determined to be fake. Let's see where it takes us. No, it won't take us anywhere. See? See how I'm trying to open it? Complete fake. The driver told us he just bought the car days before from someone on Facebook. Do you have any paperwork on the car? You didn't get a buyer's receipt, a bill of sale, a title? No paperwork, no like insurance, like the car doesn't even exist. So this vehicle is actually a salvage vehicle. Um, and doesn't have a rebuilt title on it, so it's not even this vehicle is not even uh, roadworthy or supposed to be on the road. The driver and his passenger had to find a new way home. Another fake tagged car off to the impound lot, and in this case, an unsafe vehicle is off the streets. In the span of a couple of hours, a few down, but thousands to go. It's satisfying, um, but it's also scary at the same time because for every one that I'm catching, there's probably another 10 that are passing by us while we're doing this investigation.
Like they said, they could do this all day long if that's all they did. This is the kind of thing that once you now start to pay attention, seeing that, you're going to notice paper plates everywhere. Doesn't mean they're all illegal. Some are perfectly legal, but so many we find are fake. And they're simple to make, as you saw, even easier to buy. We're going to, uh, Nicole, dive into that part of the story because that's fascinating as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a major push to do away with the plates here in Texas. Chief says need two visits to Austin the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. He went actually the, the day before. Before we sat down with that interview, but we'll talk about the legislative side of this thing and more importantly, how simple these things are to buy and to skirt the law. That was going to be my first question is like, it must be super accessible for folks to get this. Completely. Because it happens, you're seeing it on the road every day. Completely. And it's a place you probably visit every single day. There so you go. We'll dive into that on Monday night. Thanks, but 